Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talks. So I hope everybody's having a day. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about our choice silver and what that means, our choice. Um, it's a term that a lot of you guys will hear, a lot of you guys will see, depending on where you buy your silver from. It's a growing term. Why? Because as prices climb, some people are digging it out of their woodwork and some people are essentially selling it to make that money because they think, wow, this is this is amazing. Um, silver's up to, you know, 26 bucks and plus people are buying it at $31. This is insane. I want to hurry up and sell my silver. And maybe they didn't take the best of care of it. And it is silver, but it looks like garbage. Um, so they're bringing it in and selling it. And in some cases, you guys are buying it because you understand this is not garbage. This is not junk silver. This is true treasure. This is true wealth. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that today. If you guys enjoy this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think in the video. If you disagree with anything I say, I'd love to hear it in the comments. If you have a question, I love to do videos on questions that are in the comments. And hit that thumbs up because it just kind of helps with the algorithm. So I thank you guys. Okay, so taking a quick look right off the bat at this item. This is obviously a beat up peace dollar. For those of you that don't know what a peace dollar is, a peace dollar is a old, um, what we used to call junk silver because people were not fans of it. Um, however, I'm sorry, I said peace dollar. Eh. Someone corrected me. I know you were watching the video of someone out there and they were like, that's not a peace dollar, dude. Hopefully you didn't shut the video off. Morgan dollar. There are peace dollars in here though. Um, and we'll show you guys one of them in just a minute. Um, now that's driving me nuts because I said that. There's probably more Morgans in here than anything because, oh, well, there's a peace dollar right there. So you can see the difference. So you know, peace dollar, Morgan dollar. They're both 90% silver. Uh, they were both used as real money. Obviously, this one looks like it's in a little better condition since this one you can't even really make out. But obviously, the date, you're talking 1892. This coin is older than anybody alive today. This coin, 1922. Maybe there's someone out there that's 101. This coin is a silver round. Silver round. It happens to be an R choice bin. Uh, it's just kind of thrown in there. It's not anything super special, but it is an ounce of silver. Uh, all three of these ounces generally, um, they're, if they're in an R choice bin or R choice selection, they're running about $31, $32 right now. However, I know some people out there will be like, I prefer a Morgan, especially if you can make out the date, especially when you look at some of these that have really good markings um, where it's not beat up, you can kind of make out everything, then they like them even more. It, technically, if you're buying this type of stuff for the silver, you're buying our choice because you want to save as much money as you can. Now, it means you're buying whatever, you're buying it just for the metal. Now, I want people to understand that this is a one ounce silver round. That means it is one ounce of pure silver. This, uh, I believe that would be, because it takes a dollar thirty to equal an ounce. I believe this, where it's a dollar, is going to be right around basically a little bit over three quarters of an ounce of silver. So if you're buying it purely for the silver, then that's what you're after. If you like that, you know, hey, that could be a collectible. I want to show someone that coin that was 1892. It's not something you're going to see every day. Then maybe this would be for you. But you got to understand the difference in the silver. One has more silver comment. If you're content, if you're buying it for the end of the world and you think, hey, I'm going to need silver, then this is, in my opinion, going to have more value. But there is a growing trend of people out there that are saying, no, this will have more value because everybody can recognize this. Most of you guys probably know what one of these coins look like. If I say a Morgan or a Peace Dollar, you know what it is. If I got into even more um, types of junk silver and I showed you something like that, you would say, oh, wow, that's a half dollar. You know exactly what it is. You recognize it, and it makes it easier. Some people even like the, the junk, junk silver, which there's nothing really junk about it. These are silver quarters. Um, some people like that. It's small. I can trade it off. It, it might be a little harder. If I have to trade for a loaf of bread, I don't want to give someone one of these for a loaf of bread today. And I definitely don't want to give one of these away for a loaf of bread 
when society is falling apart. Um, I'd want something smaller. And that's where smaller um, fractional silver comes into play. We're going to talk about that in an upcoming video. So make sure you guys check that video out when I do post it. But I want people to have a firm understanding on what our choice means. Um, you're literally buying the stuff that someone like me threw in a pile and they don't really care. It's, it's to, to me, this stuff is beat up and it's not going to make it into my personal, personal stack. Um, but it is something I can use for trade at a later point. Now, there might be some cool coins in here. Some people like to cherry pick. They'll, they'll say, can I see your R choice silver? And they'll cherry pick stuff. Um, you take something like that. You know, that, that's actually a really nice coin. It's in good shape. You know, a lot of people will like that. Take something like this. If you're in Texas, well, that's an awesome coin. It's not beat up. It's not all stained up. Um, it's a nice coin. You can cherry pick the ones you like. And who knows? You might even find something like this. So this is an NRA round. It's even in a capsule. Capsule, a free capsule. Uh, the reason this is in here, you can see the capsule is all scratched up, all beat up. Um, I'm kind of curious to actually open this now while we're on camera here real quick. Let's see what the inside of this one looks like. So I, I well, here, I'm going to do it this way because I hate to touch it. Even though someone out there is going to be like, who cares if you touch it with your hands? It's not going to make a difference. Uh, it's bullion. It's junk silver in a way. However, you look at it at this angle, it doesn't look as bad. I actually may throw this capsule away right here, put it in a brand new capsule, and... I don't know, I may throw it back in the junk pile just for someone to get a really good coin, good deal on a coin. I, can even, I mean, that's so nice, you can see my reflection in it. I'm smiling. Actually, you can really just see the camera. But with that being said, um, I want people to understand what junk silver is. Um, you can kind of get a, get a feel for what's going on here. Some of the stuff is in capsules, but it's in here for a reason. Something about it just didn't make the cut. Another piece dollar. There's a lot of Morgans in here. I mean, this right here, someone's going to be like, that's an American Silver Eagle. How is that junk? Um, so when you look at the back, it is severely beat up. Uh, some people will put a higher premium on this. For me, I look at this as, you know, you're talking $31 in today's silver. It is heavily beat up. Um, but people want them. So... Uh, somebody might cherry pick this stack and what they're going to do, you're either going to have someone that likes American Silver Eagles and they're going to be like, wow, I scored big. I got an American Silver Eagle. You're going to find someone that likes Peace Dollars. Bam. You're going to find someone that likes Morgans. You're going to find someone that knows how to look past this scratched up garbage looking capsule. And, and there's no rule saying you can't open this in the store. I mean, it's in a junk bin for crying out loud. Um, and they might say, wow, what an incredible find for junk price. So something I want you guys to think about when you guys see it, the next time you go to a coin store or a coin show or maybe a flea market and they just have stuff thrown in a bin, that there's a lot of opportunity in this type of stuff. And when you understand that and you know what you're looking for, you can do really well with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you are subscribed because it really does help out the channel. And I hope you leave me a comment because your comments like this was based off of a comment that somebody left me uh, a little while back about what that means, our choice, and why people even do it. Um, and I hope you're subscribed, liked, comment, and we'll just take a minute, kind of look through some of these YouTube likes if they run 10 minutes on the videos. So we'll take a few minutes to kind of look through a couple of these, show you guys what's in my junk pile. Like I said, this stuff changes all the time. So 1988, not horrible, but you get some heavy stains there. Another piece dollar. Piece dollar. Piece dollar. Probably not going to find a Carson City in here. I know someone's like, oh, I wish he'd flip that over in uh, 1892. It's not a Carson. It's an O. Um, in fact, I've never seen a Carson in a junk pile. It would blow my mind. Even a beat up one, 1900. 
O. I do see a lot of O's down here because I'm in Texas, so it just seems like a lot of O's make their way. I know some people right off are more wondering about the Morgans. Morgan. So we're just going to take a quick look at the Morgan. Look at that. Another uh, American Silver Eagle. Some people like those. Another American Silver Eagle. Badly toned, badly beat up, scratched, junked around. There's a bunch of them actually in here. So let's take a look at these two real quick. 1921. Looks like a P, maybe an S. Uh, 1921. And no mark on that one. So with that being said, I hope you guys got a pretty good understanding on junk silver and our choice. I, I say junk silver because there is some junk silver in there. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you hit the thumbs up. And you guys all have a great one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.